Monday and welcome to my weekly vlog. This is my first vlog for the week ever. <laughs> I've only ever done one vlog before, which is my moving vlog. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave that right up here. <laughs> it's now 9 a.m and I've already done like my morning routine, ate some breakfast, walked my dog, and I just got off my first meeting of the day. So I work full time as a social media manager. So I work from 9 a.m. to five. Any like free time I have, like before work, after work, I'm working on my business. I'm also a spiritual mindset and life coach, and I'm also training to be certified in hypnosis, NLP, EFT tapping, so I'm doing that as well and yeah so I have a lot going on. I really wanted to like start this weekly vlog series just to be able to like look back on all the memories that I have out here in San Diego in this part of my life so I'm really excited to take you along with me and I'll see you throughout the day. Guys, it's 45 degrees out here. It's fucking cold. <laughs> but Maya wanted me to sit out here with her, so I'm here. But look how cute my little setup is. We finally got patio furniture, so I've been spending a lot of time out here and I love it. That's pretty much Monday for me. Not a very eventful day, but see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. The sun is about to set. So I'm gonna go sit outside before it gets too cold. Sometimes I feel like I just need a little bit of sunshine and that's it. And all my problems will be solved. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. As I'm like recording this vlog, it's making me realize how much my days are the same every single day. I'm a Taurus, so I'm very much into like routine, stability, consistency. Like that's honestly when I thrive. Like I thrive on routines, which is why like sometimes like I, even though I love traveling, sometimes traveling can like really throw me off because like if I don't have like my morning routine, and if I don't have like my comfort and like my time to have like a slow morning, then I kind of struggle a little bit. But yeah, my biggest thing for me is like my slow morning, like waking up early and like not having to rush, just relax, like go through my morning routine like nice and slow. Like I used to be the type to wake up at five in the morning and go like straight to the gym. And honestly, like I thought that was working for me and like it kind of did for a little bit, but then I realized that like, I would crash by like 12 or 1 p.m. And I'm like, okay, how do I make it so that my energy lasts like all day? Well, okay, let me try out like the slow morning thing. And ever since doing that, like now I have energy the entire day. Like I literally do not crash. Also, I don't drink coffee anymore. So I think that helps too. I drink matcha because with coffee, anytime I drink coffee, like I'm super, super jittery. And then I crash like in the afternoon. So with matcha, it's like a slow and sustained um, energy. It's not like a crash, <laughs> you know? But yeah, wait, did I say happy Tuesday earlier? Oh my God, I meant to say happy Wednesday. <laughs> it's literally Wednesday. Uh, anyways, happy Wednesday. Yeah, there's that. I'm super excited for today. Today is my workshop. I'm so excited. It's the end of year workshops. We're gonna be reflecting, releasing, and setting our intentions for the new year. I'm damn excited for that one. I will definitely keep you guys in the loop and update you on how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys throughout the day. It's 4.20 right now, which means I have 40 minutes until my workshop goes live, which is really exciting. So I just want to show you the way that I prepare to hold space for something like this, uh, because I really want to make sure that my energy is 
really taken care of before I go into a space where I'm holding space for other women um, and other energy as well. So the first thing that I did was just shower, you know, get all, get all ready, get all pretty, you know, feel confident, feel good. And now it's time to prepare my energy. So I have this feminine leadership oil that I got in Asheville and it's pretty much like an oil that has herbs in it and it's been set with the intention for the patron of feminine leadership river goddess so i put this on whenever i film youtube videos and whenever i show up live for something So whenever I put the oil on, I just really center my energy and set my intention to speak clearly, speak fluently, speak from the heart, and also any messages that somebody needs to hear, anything that needs to come through me, I open myself up to be a channel, to be a vessel. I leave all of my problems, anything that's on my mind, any energy, I put it aside so that I can hold space for these lovely, lovely women who are taking their time to attend this live workshop. And then what I'm going to do also to just like raise my vibration even more is I'm going to do some EFT tapping. So love. EFT tapping it's such a great way to like feel empowered like right away and in my live workshop tonight I'm actually taking the group through an EFT tapping which I'm damn excited about I know it's gonna be powerful as fuck <laughs> okay I got my little setup going so I have my crystals here I have rose quartz for self-love amethyst for clearing and healing red carnelian for strength confidence and power then I have some incense that I'm gonna burn. Got my iPad for notes, my laptop to do the Zoom, and then of course, water. Ooh, that was damn good. That one was all about confidence because I really wanted to like tap into like that confident energy. So I feel really good, I feel fired up. And now I'm about 20 minutes away, so I'm going to run through the whole entire workshop just to make sure you know everything flows right and i feel good about everything and then it should be time yay the workshop just ended it's 6 20 so it went on for like what is that an hour and 20 minutes yeah it was it was really great like the women that came were just so amazing and ugh, amazing i loved it so much i'm really really excited and just happy that I did this. So, yeah. It's 6 20. I'm going to walk my dog, eat some dinner, and relax until I go to sleep. But I'll see you tomorrow. So we just had dinner and we don't feel like stuffing our faces with popcorn because that's not the vibe. So. But we also love to munch. So. Yeah, you can't be at a movie theater and not munch. So we brought fruit. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Cute. And then I have the peanut butter or almond butter. Yes, it's the move. I wish we could bring Maya. I know. Sweetie. So sad. <laughs> okay, off we go. Off we go. <laughs> Happy Sunday! Today is filming day. So I leave to go back to Florida this week. So I need to batch some YouTube videos so that way I don't have to really think about it when I'm in Florida, you know, spending time with my family for Christmas and then 
for New Year's, I'm going to uh, Philly with some of my friends, which is really exciting. We're going to a festival over there. So yeah, so today I'm filming. I'm filming a couple YouTube videos and yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for today's YouTube videos. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling ready to go. And just like I showed you guys doing the um, little ritual that I do before a workshop, I kind of do a similar thing for before filming my YouTube videos. I just really like to be intentional before I show up in any type of way, whether it's workshops, social media, anything, just because I really do believe in like the transfer of energy. And so I don't want to show up if I have something going on or there's something negative within me that I haven't processed fully because I do feel like it can be transferred. So that's why I really take care of my energy and speaking of taking care of your energy, I'm really excited because the video that I'm filming today is all about like how to protect your energy. One of the videos that I'm filming today. Um, it's not gonna go up for another couple of weeks, but I am really excited to film this one today because I do really feel like I've learned a lot about protecting my energy, mostly because earlier this year I was living with my parents and you know, love my family to death, love them so much. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity of, you know, living with them before moving out here so that I could save up money. But, you know, there were definitely times where I felt like I needed to protect my energy a little bit more and I needed to do certain things in order to feel my best, especially in an environment like that where I wasn't, you know, fully able to like be myself in the way that I am now. And so I really, that's actually one of my biggest lessons of 2022 is like your environment is everything. Like the people you surround yourself with, the environment, like the physical environment that you're in. And I've really noticed a huge difference in myself ever since moving out here, ever since having my own space and, you know, living with my roommate who's very, very, very aligned with me. Like, I feel like I've just had a lot more momentum in my life. I feel like I'm, it's like a lot easier for me to show up, be my best self, take action towards my dreams because I don't have so much like weight holding me back. I don't have to do as much nowadays for my energy, but I still, you know, know how to do all of those things. And that's why I want to share it in a video because I know that a lot of people struggle with that, like feeling like their energy is being drained by the people around them or the environments that they're in. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm gonna do my little ritual and then get to filming. So I've got my feminine leadership oil. 